So, too long since a real update. It seemed like New Year's was a good time for at least a quick message. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, the Christmas Carol stuff. Uh, but this is an actual Big Irish vlog, and uh, so time for a message here at the end of the year. Conflicting schedules have pushed the art back on Shine Tar Legends Unleashed, so we're looking at the first of the year as we bring some new folks in. Uh, that means hopefully January, but certainly uh, by the time I hit Genghis Khan, which, by the way, is my first convention in 2014. It's in February 13th to the 16th uh, in Denver, Colorado, uh, and it's a huge, savage-friendly event. I'm very honored to be their guest of honor, uh, and I've never been to Colorado, so that would be pretty cool. Uh, in January, I am scheduled to head up to New York City to meet with the folks from Doctors Without Borders. We have a long-standing relationship, and they want my help. Uh, in their outreach uh, to the geek community. Uh, very excited, very proud about that. I mean, my relationship with them starts from when I was a drive through RPG and we did the big Haiti bundle for the Haiti earthquake. And I've been doing stuff with them ever since. And they've asked me to uh, help them with some uh, some focus groups uh, as they realize that uh, the geek community and especially the gamer community is a very effective one for them in terms of, of support and fundraising. Uh, so that'll be uh, really, really cool. I guess I'm very proud to be involved in that. Uh, I do want to bring up today some things that have recently released. Uh, the Shintar Monster Cards, which Sean Gore did a lot of the work on, and uh, Al Bear and, and Lee helped me put that together. Um, very cool. If you've not seen it, you should check it out. Uh, it's all the monsters and bad guys and uh, NPCs from both Legends Arise and Legends Unleashed, so you get a preview of Legends Unleashed with these cards. And it's all of them in nice formatted style uh, in a PDF, but there's also... Uh, a zip file that has them in an editable format, so you can actually go in and edit them to change them around and update them and turn them into wild cards and do whatever you want to with them. And there's blank templates as well, so a really useful tool, and I think you'll enjoy those. Uh, we also updated the Day in the Life material to improve the rules, but there's no change to the cards. So if you bought the cards, they're still perfectly exactly right. We just improved the text of the rules to uh, improve the overall system a little bit. I've been discovering that a lot of people really like that system for other games. I've been hearing uh, about their use in, in pretty much any other kind of Savage Worlds game. And I, there's a guy running a LARP uh, who adapted the system to handle downtime uh, play and between session play for his LARP, and, and he's a very major LARP guy in Atlanta, so really excited about that. Uh, also, there's the Bloody Awful scenario, if you didn't see that one. I wrote that one up uh, not too long ago and, and put that up. That's one of the more recent things up there. So there's a few things out there. I am working on Guidebook 1, Magic and Cosmology, and of course there's all the other huge line of books after that. 2014 is the year to start knocking those books out. Uh, meanwhile, uh, among other things, Corinne is setting up her materials. We're going to work on all those custom miniatures. Won't that be nice? Uh, I've got some other major projects I'm working on for 2014, but we'll leave that for the next update because uh, we've got a game coming up here, uh, which I, I get to play. Corinne's actually running a Justice Life scenario, and I get to play in it uh, with my character Artivan uh, instead of just running him as a GMPC, although it's really not for me. It's for my daughter. Uh, it's her birthday as well as New Year's. Uh, so she's a New Year's baby, so she's getting this game as her birthday present. I get to tag along there. Um, let's see. The flock has on my orders taken a break for the holiday. Uh, however, look for some major improvements to the Shine Tar site coming in the first of the year, and we're also making some major changes to the processes and, and general founda foundational ideas for the shared campaign to make it a lot easier, um, much faster, to, and, and, and no brainer to, to file quick reports and things like that. So, really excited about that. Uh, let's see. All right, well, you know, what? I'm just going to go on to my New Year's message for you all. Like you know, Harry Harrison did his special one. Um, uh, so here it is. May you find what you seek, and may you seek to find something. <coughs> may you discover happiness, and may happiness be found in discovery. May you encounter adventure, and may your adventure have many encounters. And finally, may you see the movie Mystery Men. So you know why that what I just said was actually very funny. Uh, happy New Year's, everyone, for the Big Arch and Evil Beagle Games. Thanks.